Frontal morning. There's a front coming through, a big one, and the storm line actually already went through, right? And so now we're kind of caught in that in between where it's kind of sliding through, and we got a southwest breeze, and it's kind of like a weird clouds and all this stuff. But it has the temperature hasn't dropped yet. The temperature is going to drop tonight and tomorrow night. Um, so normally you can catch a little bit of a chew, but it's it's all about the timing. You guys that have fished Florida know that if you catch it right, it'll be firing. And then if you catch it wrong, it's like dead. So I've seen that there's a lot of baby around this morning and um, I did some pre-dawn stuff. Didn't see, saw a lot of bait, um, didn't catch any fish. But now we're uh, gonna start filming the top water around and see what's going on, so we'll go. Something big just moved there, man. Oh, there we go, there we go. Come on. Oh my God, I got him. It's not small. I got him. <laughs> not small. Oh, nice fish. Oh. Ooh, and that. And then that in a nutshell is topwater fishing. And I'm not even that mad. I mean, what more could I want, right? Hey, I would have liked to catch the fish. I would like to get a nice picture of it and show you guys, but ooh, that thing got planted. Planted. And I had the big camera off. <laughs> So the GoPro got it, but oh man, I got a little tiny bit of frayage on here. I might even let that roll. Uh, we'll see if there's another one here. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> Come on, baby. So I made the cast. I made the cast and as soon as it landed, the braid set down on what I assume is a fish and it kind of kicked slowly. Then I kept bringing it through there and then one did a huge boil on it and I kept following it and completely planted it. Good fish too, like upper slot, over slot. Let's check again. right there. Oh for two. All I wanted was a couple good bites. I already got two good bites. So. <clears throat> There's just, oh man. 
there's just nothing like it. I share that with clients all the time. You know, we'll go and we'll be fishing. I'm like, there's nothing like snook on top water. I mean, more than anything, snook on top water is like the best. The way that they move on it and the sounds that they make. Ooh. All right, let's get them on. <laughs> change direction on this guy. You can do that sometimes, you know, throw multiple times at a fish. It definitely works jig fishing and doing the jig and swim bait thing at night. Like a direction change, even just an angle versus a straight will do it. And I've seen it work on top waters too, where you've fished multiple tarpon are rolling over there, where you've thrown at them like multiple times from a certain direction and you change the angle and you'll get another bite just because it looks different to them. But that did not work. Oh, it did work. Oh my god. It did work. Come on, baby. Stay pinned. Right. Not a small one either. Look at this. Nice, man. Nice. Come on, baby. Stay with me here. Stay with me here. Oh, she's got it. Just planted. Planted. Stay with me. Lens? Nope. She's right here. Ooh. Come on, don't hook me in the hand. Oh, she wants to hook me in the hand. Where's that hook? Look at that. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. What up? <laughs> oh, she's about to hook me. No, 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 no. She's about to just kick right now. Nice and soft. Nice and soft. Camera soaked from the fish. Look at this thing. Ooh. Five inch top knock. Awesome. Wow. Direction change got her. Direction change got her easy. That's it. Knocks out. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> yes, right there. Right there. Ah, oh, what a fish. Probably, probably 34-ish, somewhere in that range. And the direction change did it. You guys heard it, you guys heard it. Sometimes it works, it did. See how this girl's doing here. How we doing? Good, oh, it's good. What'd I say? What'd I say? I said one or two good bites. That's all. One or two good bites is all you need. Hey, look. So that was that was pretty interesting. I don't know if you guys heard. I was kind of letting you know what I was doing, but I had worked over an area to like, you know, twice, missed two fish, and I kind of repositioned the boat and cast over the same area again, but just changed the direction and had it come in a different direction. So instead of coming this way, it was going that way, and that's what did it. That fish just unloaded on it. Woo-hoo. And that's that. <laughs> and I'm, I'm happy. Hey, what'd I say, right? If I could get one or two big bites, I'd be happy. I got three, hooked two, caught one, and it was like a 34. 
So I'm not, I'm not unhappy with that at all. Catch a snook on top water in the end of October. Like who's complaining? Certainly not me. Anyway, guys, you know the deal. I'm always happy to be out here, always happy to share the time with you guys. Hey, get some time on the water yourselves. Get your own fish on top water. I'll see you next time.